then there's no problem. I'm looking at you, Jim. I'm gonna hear the name and I'm gonna get PTSD. But the cream runs to the top for oh, you. Yeah. USA hockey and the future of it. And we obviously we were talking before about the miracle on ice and 41 years ago and and how big of an event that was for everything and how you know I have everything to thank from that moment. But the future of USA hockey going forward just looks amazing. The, the amount of players that this team has for the 2022 Olympics, and they look like they're going to be sending the NHLers in 2022, provided everything is okay health-wise. But, I mean, you were talking about Austin Matthews before. And something that we didn't even get to go into, which maybe at a later on a later episode we could, would be, did we start talking about Austin Matthews for a 50-50 season? When does that discussion start? <laughs> it might start next 19. week when we record. Yeah. <laughs> He's got 18 and 19 right now. And that's the kind of guy that could rack off a hat trick in three straight games if he wanted to. So, um, but Matthews, uh, I mean, Charlie McAvoy, Long Beach, the pride of Long Beach, New York, Charlie McAvoy, the pride of Jericho, New York, Adam Fox. I mean, yeah, we, we, we got our Long Island representation. Look at where these guys are coming from now. Matthews, Arizona, you know, born in Arizona, raised in California, I guess, whatever you want to say, but still look where it's, look where it's coming from the West. You got from Long Island representation two of the best defenders that USA could probably ice in 2022 are both from Long Island. Uh, I mean, you got Seth Jones and, and we were talking about, you know, diversity and, and black history month. One of the best defensemen in the NHL is a, a, a black American. And the son of a basketball player. And the son of a basketball player played for the Denver Nuggets. I mean, it just it, – it, it, the future is so bright. Even Zach Wierenski in Columbus, another American boy. Johnny Gaudreau. Oh, and who were we talking about in trade rumors before? Jack Eichel from North Chelmsford, Massachusetts. I mean, this might be the greatest crop of American-born players – when it's all said and done because Patrick Kane is still in his, is still like, he's still going to be able to contribute and he's still a big time scorer. So that's another one who's going to be on that 2022 roster. Uh, I mean, there are so many players you could think of for this USA team that are just incredible talents and going forward, the future of USA hockey is in some really, really good hands. Um, so I, I'm I'm very happy with the direction the team's going in. I mean, Quinn Hughes in Vancouver, Jack Hughes in New Jersey. Uh, I mean, you, you, there's so many. And then Luke is going to be drafted in this year's draft, and he's going to probably be somewhere within the top five, the top ten, maybe even a top three. Some some drafts the drafts are all over the place this year. The, the mocks. So there's not a real consensus this year like in others, but Luke has been in many people's top tens in some top threes. So the Hughes brothers are going to be an, a, a force going forward. That's probably the NHL's next set of you know great brothers. We had the Stalls from the mid 2000s until today. And then the Hughes brothers are going to come out and they're going to be a big force in the NHL. So, I mean, there's a lot of different, a lot of different players to look at across the board. I think the 2022 Olympics should be fun. If you're a team USA fan, I think they're young, they're talented, they're good skaters. So back on international ice, you know, that could help them going forward. So, you know, a, a lot of, a lot of good things to look forward to the forward of, uh, with the future of USA hockey. And I think it's just a great time to be an American hockey fan. I'm also going to just smile for a second because I was waiting for you to mention them and you just didn't do it. But you forgot about two of the greatest antagonizers in the game right now in Matthew and Brady Kachuk. Oh, <laughs> and Chuck brothers. We're going to have a video in the future dedicated to what Team USA is going to look like in 2022 if they, if they decide to send them. 
it's it, it's when they did the World Cup of Hockey a few years ago, and you had the under uh, the under twenty team that was playing together. And you oh had my Matthews god! And How Eichel exciting and, was that game against Sweden? Oh, it was great. And they, but all those Americans, all those Americans on that team. I mean, JT Miller starting to come into his own, which he's another one that could make it. He, he could he could possibly make it. And again, it's like, what type? Who's going to be the GM? Who's going to be constructing it? If Brian Berg is going to be constructing it, and it's not even, uh, it's not even a thought in our minds if uh, Team USA has a guy drafted number one overall anymore. It's not even a footnote anymore. No, we we, we don't even have to compare with the Brian Lawton comparison. Hey, oh. Brian Lawton was drafted number one overall. Okay, yeah. we don't. We, it's not even a thought. Especially says uh, two Americans have gone n- number one overall in the last five years. There should be so, three number one overall picks on that team in 2022. You figure Austin Matthews, Jack Hughes, and then Patrick Kane. I mean, there's there's three right there, and obviously uh, Eichel went two, and plenty plenty of guys went two. We're we're in, we're in for a treat, and the future, like you said, actually, I'll let, I'll let you say I'll spoon feed you the line. The future of USA hockey is looking bright. You're 100 percent right. Yeah, it, it just uh, it's it, it, there's a lot of talent on this team, and I, I'm sure there are other players that I, I, I'm missing. Um, uh, there there are other players that are definitely tons. that team that, and, and like I said, we're like you said, we're going to do that video. So definitely look forward to that. Um, but there's just so much good young talent, and it's just like I said, it's just a great time be a fan of USA hockey. I have t-shirts, you know, hoodies and stuff like that. Hats. I, I, I love USA hockey. I think what we're doing with it is just, it's great. It's, you know what it, I, I draw the parallel of being a Rangers fan because there's just so much good young talent on this team that you're looking forward to seeing and develop. And they're going to be a real juggernaut. I mean, USA hockey for the next I would say three, four Olympics could be a real, a real threat to win the gold. There's any American players that we missed? Put them in the comments below. I know, of course, comment, comment, comment. <laughs> that helps a lot. And drop a like. All right. Tell me when I'm uh, dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs> which, which I'll let you know. Let me know when I am. It doesn't happen very often. Oh, hey, you're still here? Well, you know what you should do? You should... Watch some of these other videos on our channel, like this one, comment, and share it with other people.